What's going on, you guys? It's your boy, Jeremy Cash, live and direct with another valuable, valuable video for you. Today, I just wanted to say thank you for 12,000 subscribers, guys. That means a lot to me and my family. I want to be a blessing to y'all, and I'm going to show y'all how to get this money for the holiday season, all right? So this video is going to be about uh, how to catch this Black Friday sale that's coming up on the, I believe, the 29th, how you guys can capitalize off of it. I'm going to walk you through this entire thing. And so you guys can, you know, stick along with me. I'll kind of walk you through everything, right? So I'm on AdWork Media. If you don't have an AdWork Media account, you should be able to sign up with that uh, company below this video. Uh, if not, just go to the actual website. Uh, like I said, it, it will be my affiliate link attached to it. So I will get a commission whenever you start making some money. Yeah. All right. So let's get right into this, guys. The first thing you want to do is you want to go to either top campaign top us campaigns uh i'll show you the one right now that i'm gonna do you guys can do the same one you can find this in campaigns but this one is a 500 hundred dollar gift card and it says black friday on it so this is what it looks like uh black friday receive a 500 visa gift card uh this is going to be really good as far as what I, i'm going to do is i'm going to actually make a landing page for this uh and then the only thing people have to do for you to get paid is put their email in all right they put their email in press continue you just got paid a uh, dollar 12 per person okay so this is the kind of stuff that can go viral i'm gonna show you exactly how to create that urgency and all of that in this video so uh yeah let's get to it all right so this is the one you guys can look up but if not i'm going to show you another one really quick uh if i go back to dashboard and i click on top us campaigns a lot of these are really high converting okay so you can really do this with anything uh one that i really like here you get paid two dollars and 40 cents so you guys may want to look at this one uh it's a bank of america thousand dollar gift card uh as you can see looks really good thousand dollar bank of america uh, visa gift card so you guys can uh be able to look at this kind of stuff as well uh this you know this type of stuff really attracts a lot of uh people as well and so I'll show you like maybe one or two more uh, down here. And let me see. We got the CVS one. We have the H&M $1,000 gift card. We also have like I think $500 uh, Uber card. Target is really good, especially for like Black Friday. You could use this Target one, you know, $1,000 Target gift card. So right now I'm just going to kind of show you exactly what I would do uh, to set this up. And how you guys will be able to do the same thing uh, and capitalize on the urgency of it right now. And so pretty much what I was doing is I was going around uh, on Google, found this website called Black, uh, the thebestblackfriday.com. It's another one called blackfriday.com. Uh, and I was just grabbing pictures, you know, like this. I'll save it to my computer. I was just going through different pages and just trying to save different ones. I think I already have this one. Uh, like little stuff like this. You guys can use uh and so i'll show you how to do that as you can see i saved two here uh but let me go ahead and save this one as black friday three okay and then either you can swipe a page and i'll show you exactly what i mean by that so for those of you who may be completely lost and don't know what i'm talking about this is cpa marketing and basically cpa marketing is cost per action where you can get paid from someone uh, putting in their email into a certain website uh, or you can get paid from someone filling out a survey. Uh, and this is basically just helping bigger companies, uh, helping them get more leads to their company. So they, you know, pay people like us to get them leads. And that's basically what it is. OK. And so uh, as you can see, just an example, Blue uh, Sky uh, Auto Finance, they'll pay you five dollars if you can get someone uh to fill out some information so it's just that simple but what i was doing is i'm gonna go on i found a couple of websites that either i could use like for some for instance something like this now for something like this guys you could either swipe this or you can just create your own and so i'm gonna go ahead and just create my own from scratch and i'm gonna show you exactly how i do that and so let me see i'm gonna go to google and then I'll just type in Black Friday and I'll try to get a picture. Let me see if I can get a banner or something like that. And I'll usually go to images to see what I can find. Uh, like I said, there's no rush. 
you guys just take your time. I kind of like this one. It stands out to me. This is kind of like a gaming bundle type of thing through the second. I like this one, so I'll go ahead and save this one. And then I may find one more because I may have this, the header, uh, but it just kind of depends. I didn't want it to be basically around games, but I think people can kind of get the gist of it. Uh, let's see. I do kind of like this one as well, but that the top is kind of cut off of that one. I could just use this or this uh, as well. So, hmm. Let me go with, I don't like that one. I'll probably just take this one as well, just to see which one looks better. And so from there, I don't think it's going to let me take that one. So I'm going to go here. So I'm on lead pages. If you guys don't have lead pages, this is $37 a month, just to let you know. My affiliate link is at the bottom of this video if you want to sign up with me. You know, if not, you can use Weebly or Wix. Those are free. So uh, what you do is on my platform, you would go to widgets. You would come here to images. Well, first and foremost, I'm, I'm just going to make this a solid background. So what I would do is I would come here. I would click on edit section settings and I would add an image here. And so this is where I would probably add. Um, let me upload an image. I'm going to find the image that I had and let me see if I can type in black it should come up bingo and then we're gonna use uh, let's see let me see if I can find uh, I don't know let me see ps4 There it is, boom. So I found this one. And then we're gonna upload uh, a few more pictures. And this is basically the landing page. So this is a page you wanna send people to to kind of warm them up instead of sending them directly to the offer. It kind of helps you out uh, a lot. And then I'm gonna show you guys how to create urgency um, to get a lot of conversions on this kind of stuff, which is really dope. And then I'll show you how to make it presentable to post on uh, Facebook. So what I'm doing is grabbing spacers to kind of space this out to make it big enough. And this is basically the top of the page as like a banner, right? And so that's pretty much done. So basically when they come here, they'll see Black Friday, right? And then after that, I can create a new section and have this to where they either can click multiple things at once which I may have them do, or I may just put some more images on here and I may have them go ahead and just click a get started link and then redirect them straight over, right? Oh, real quick, before I do this, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a timer. Now this is, guys, this is how you create urgency on your landing pages uh, because we know that, you know, this is gonna end before beforehand. So real quick, let me see if I can delete this one delete I'll add a section and then I'll go ahead and add a timer here right and so when I add this timer basically I click here I'll click on the uh, calendar and we can go either daily or we can go evergreen now if you do evergreen it'll tell you how many hours or how many days you have left and so uh, what we can do is we can say uh, let me see. So the 29th, so let's see, it's the 22nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th. So we got about seven days left. So we can do, it'll be over in five days beforehand, right? Or if you want to put two days, you only got two days to get to access this. Let's say we do, I'll say three days. So three days and one hour left to access this, right? And it'll say, it says it's gonna reset the count, uh, the countdown for all new visitors, okay? So remember that. And so now that we have the timer, guys, it's just gonna continue to run. Now, like I said, you have the option to change the color to match uh, everything. So this is kind of blue or purple. So I, I may leave that the same. Um, let me go back. So numbers as well, you could change the, the color of the numbers. And so if I wanted it to match that, I could let's see now I'll probably leave that the same the label all of that will probably stay exactly the same except I may go ahead on the label and do like red right to make it pop just a little bit more or I can make it like a purple to match uh, what we have here so let me go ahead and well let me click off the exit let me go to add and then we'll click on like purple to kind of give it 
you know, kind of the same feel that is as, as up top, right? So now that we got that, so then what I would do, guys, I would come here and I would go ahead and make me a header. And I would say, this offer only lasts until, right? And then I would go ahead and get, go, we'll go back to Google. And this is how you set your pages up really nice. I would do pointing uh, down emoji. This is how you set your pages up uh, to really win. And I try to tell people, not don't try to make your pages so plain that people don't want to click on it. You need to make it appealing. It needs to be an exciting page. You know what I mean? Uh, so that people will want to do it, right? And so this is the kind of stuff that I'm talking about when you kind of take the time and, and some effort. I can make this bold. Uh, I should probably change the color of this to purple as well to maybe match kind of how, how it looks up here, right? So you can make it look like this Black Friday, uh, boom. And then if I wanted to, um, I could just do different stores. So there's a couple of different options. So basically after this, I could either start a new section, which I may do. Um, this one can actually stay this color. I'm trying to see if there's any other color that I would actually want to make this background. Uh, but I think that's good. And then I could add a new section and I could either put images on this one. Like for instance, I would change the background color of this one. I'm trying to see what color would best fit. And so let's see how that looks. So that's starting to look really good. It's starting to come together nice. You got your timer, uh, blase, blase, right? And so you can make it look really nice. Now what I could do is either add uh, images of like Walmart or whatever. So I got a couple of different options. So let me go back to upload and I'll show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. So what I did was when I downloaded those pictures, I can, uh, since these are purple, which is perfect, it kind of, it all kind of goes together, which I didn't even realize. Okay, so insert that. Bingo. Okay, so this is inserted. Uh, so I could do things like this, or I can make this a lot smaller. Uh, let me grab it and go. Let me see here. So I can like make this a lot smaller if I want to. Right? Just so people kind of get the gist of it. And then I can come over here, add another image right next to it. Right? And I may want to raise that one up a little bit more now. So I can raise this up to its max. Let me get here. Boom. And then I'll add another picture next to this one as well. And I could just say something like get started. Like this one doesn't have to be just super extravagant, but you want it to look good enough to where people want to click through it. Right. And so I can either use this Black Friday one here, which I may use the TVs. I may end up using all these images, but that way uh, you guys will be able to see exactly how to do this. All right, so this is good right here, right? So you got the Black Friday. They come through here. This offer um, only lasts until three days, one hour, right? Okay, uh, and then either I can just add a, a button. So what you can do is either you can grab one from here, add a button, or you can get a, a better looking button here. And let me go here. So either I could say shop now, now, button, Let's just see which ones they have. So you go to images, right? And then you'll be able to kind of find out which button you want to use. So I can either use a big blue one. I can either use one with a cart, with a shopping cart, uh, a big red one, something that kind of stands out. And so let me see. And so what will happen is, let me say, let's say if I just use this one here, a nice shop now button. It's a PNG image, so it should show up in display. And this is the way, that way it's going to stand out. So what I could do is add an image here. I will go here, and then we would click on Upload. Now, either it's under my Download, or let me see, Big Red. If not, then it may be on my desktop. So we'll see. 
Okay, so now I gotta I gotta exit out of this to see if I can find that image. So this is basically where they click and they go to your offer, right? So this is in. I'm just gonna add this to my desktop so that way I can find it when I shop for it. All right, so we click here, go to desktop, and then I should be able to type in big. There it is. So here's the shop now button. Okay, and then once this uploads. I'll show you guys another thing now on this video guys you could actually add your own uh, you can add videos I mean like I said you guys can go to YouTube if you want to just make this thing you know super official and just you can go you can go Black Friday sale commercial or anything like that uh, let's say Black Friday sale commercial right you can just grab a small commercial guys right stuff like this you see this one you could just kind of edit it if you know how to edit i know how to edit real real easy you could just do little stuff like this right and have it on your site playing as soon as someone clicks on it making it even more official right and and like i said make your your pages really nice i'm not going to do that on this video but that's kind of well matter of fact real quick i'll add the video i'll add the video here right i'm just going to add this video but I'm, i won't use it uh i'm just going to use them for an example in this video so i would come here and i would click share and i would click embed it and then i would just copy this and just show you how easy this stuff is to make i would click on the video area and paste that code right there and save now the video is on the page you see that that simple black friday sale now this is how you make a really good landing page guys right they come down here they click shop now right and then either I can have something pop up. So if I click here, either I can have a something pop up so I can create a new pop up and I can either put whatever I want to right here. Right. Or what you guys could do. It's, it's so many different things you could do. You can either have them go through a survey and at the end you can say congratulations. You you have the opportunity to win a five hundred dollar black uh, Black Friday gift card. Uh, fill this out. They'll go through as soon as they put their email in you get paid or you can have this pop up with a uh, With the gift card offer, right? You can say the same thing. So what I would do is I would go to my AdWork media offer and I would go ahead and go to this this actual landing page so they'll be used to you know seeing it uh, And you could take this you could say receive a uh, so what I would do is I would go ahead and screenshot this, right? You could just screenshot this little piece here. And this could be at the top of your, your banner. So let me save this one. Let's say we saving it on desktop. I'll just say BF for Black Friday. It's so much stuff you can do with this, guys. But this is what I mean by taking your time and, and doing your pages right so that way you can profit uh i would go over here add an image here and then i would just go ahead and upload this image here and then from there i'll show you exactly what you could do next so i'll type in bf right and then bingo as soon as i open this up you guys will see exactly how it looks so let's wait here we go boom so now that's that right and then you can add a uh let me see google dot com uh five hundred dollar let's see if they even have an image of it black friday gift card if not then you could just i'll show you what you could do after this so let's see they got amazon they got uh you could do, really do any one of these cards uh let's see i don't see any of these cards so what i'll do is just say five hundred dollar gift card let me see if this if I can find one. I'll just use an uh as an example. Let's see. Boom. Gift card. I like this one. I love this one actually. This actually looks really good. And it's got the holiday bow on it, so that's perfect. All right. And so that's 500 GC. All right. So I'll add another image under this one. You guys can kind of see where I'm going. And so this is how you set your pages up to win and get really good conversions if you didn't know how to do it. 
and I just take my time on it. Like some people, you send me your pages, and I'm like, yo, I wouldn't even go through that. Like, can you, you know, you got to make it look really, really nice uh, for people in order for them to actually want to go through it. So I think under pictures, let me see if, if it's on this one. Bingo, yep. So I saved that here. And since it's on a white background, it should blend in really nice already. So let's see how it looks. Boom, so that's perfect, right? Receive a $500 Visa gift card. So $500, it has it like that. Then they can either go to another button that'll have them... Uh, you can either put yes or no, but I would probably just put it to where they sign up and just say, yes, sign me. I'll just put sign me up. Boom. Or I'll say now. And then I would probably change this color to red so that way it blends in. Right. And then I could either do this little arrow here. And then I would do the same thing over here, create that space. And from here, I think what I should do, let's see, I just need to activate the button. So the only thing left for you to do now at this point is go to your offer, go all the way down to this where it says shorten uh, tracking link. You would just copy this and bingo, you're pretty much done. Right, you would click on this, go to it, link to external, paste that in there, and bingo. Now, there's one last thing you have to do, especially if you want to promote this on social media, but you could always preview. So, let's say I preview this to see how it looks originally, it'll show you how it looks on the phone and everything. And so, they come to this website. I may need to do one more little stretch, but they come here. The timer's going off. They got three days, zero hours, 59 minutes left. Here's the commercial, right? Just simple, right? Black Friday stuff. They click this, it pops up, receive a $500 Visa gift card. Boom, sign up now. And it takes me straight to uh, the offer, guys. And that's as simple as it is. Now it all makes sense when they get here and say Black Friday sale, receive a $500 gift card. Okay, cool. It warmed them up, right? And they got the video, they had all of that stuff, so that's perfect. And now, the only thing left that you need to do uh, as far as lead pages goes, let me see if I can back up some, wherever I was at. Oh, let me back up. The only thing that you have to do now is get it ready for social media and for um, social media and uh, uh, SEO. And I'll show you how to do that. So let me pause this. Okay, perfect. And so now you would come here to settings, right? And where it says SEO. Now, if, you, if you're somebody who's going to run an ad to this, what would be really dope? If you run an ad to this on like Google or something like that, uh, this is the part that you would want to fill out. So for instance, I would say something like uh, Black Friday. And it'll tell you right here in this box kind of what you're doing. Friday uh, exclusive sale sale and then you can say something like free $500 gift card and then I would do like a little slash and say a limited time offer right something like that but in between Black Friday exclusive sale let me see I would do another little bracket here that way I could separate everything. So this is how it will look on like a Google and then the description and all that will be this right here. Now for social media, this is kind of one of the most important ones because you can actually add your own pictures and this is how it would look on social media. So if I click on upload or in my images, for instance, I'll just use one of these. I'll probably use this one here. Now, nah, I may use this one because I think it has Black Friday on it. So I think people would love to see that. So, for instance, like if I'm posting this on like Facebook or something, then you can, you know, say the same thing. Black Friday. But I would just do mine more like this to entice people. Black Friday. Uh, $500 Visa gift card. Giveaway. Well, I would do the giveaway first right here. Give 
a way. Dang, I keep missing. Okay, there we go. And then only three days left to enter. Right? And I would probably do something like this. Sign up today. Okay? So... I need to put free in here. So Black Friday free. This is what gets people right there. That free word. Free $500 Visa gift card giveaway. Only three days left to enter. Sign up today. All right. Now, then the description, like I said, you guys write whatever you want in here. Little small text. It'll show you exactly kind of what your article and ad looks like right here. Okay. And then from there, that's pretty much it. Now, the analytics is little Google tracking and all that stuff. But that, that stuff is kind of irrelevant. And so now I save that, I exit, I hit publish, I would change this one to that, and then that's it. I publish it, and now let, let me see if it'll show up right now on my uh, Facebook. Sometimes it shows up right away, sometimes it takes time. All right, so let's, let's go to my Facebook right quick and see if I could actually post it. Uh, I'm going to actually use this, but I'm going to switch a couple things up. But let's see how it looks if I post it right now. Bingo, guys. That's exactly how it would look in someone new in someone's news feed. Now I would probably need to buy a domain name for this or whatever. So that way you see where it says cashville pages. It'll probably just say whatever domain name I get. Uh, but this is very enticing. Black Friday, free five hundred dollar Visa gift card. Only three days left to enter. Sign up today. Right? You can do emojis. You can do whatever you want to make it really nice. Uh, this picture can be as you know photoshopped if you want to edit however you want to do it if you want to do it specifically for people in your town you can put you know the name up here of the city like for me i'm oklahoma i could have put oklahoma black friday sale so whatever right uh and then after that like the only thing you would do on here instead of directly you know pretending like you're doing it you can indirectly do it like yo this is crazy uh y'all better hop on this deal Right. Just say something like that with a couple emojis with some arrows pointing down. And that's it. Now, if you're somebody who doesn't like to post on your wall and you rather just post it in your stories, you have to be on a laptop to do this. But this is what I do a lot. Um, I'll take the check mark off of news feed and I would click on your story. Right. So it'll just promote inside my stories and I don't have to worry about having it on my wall. Now, if you're somebody who just likes to do it that way, and it's clickable inside your story, so whenever someone goes to your Facebook story, they'll be able to click it, just kind of how they do on Instagram when they do the swipe up. So it's the same thing uh, if you guys want to do it like that instead of having it on your wall. But either way, uh, this is going to get a lot of conversions, uh, and I'll probably show you some, some of my results when I do it. But uh, I want you guys to go ahead and do that. Like I said, you could do that with Weebly, Wix, and all of that stuff. Uh, and it's a lot more stuff you could do with it. But basically, the only thing that, that's really important is this timer, uh, giving people that urgency, like, hey, get in now. Uh, you could only say, uh, if you want to do it by, like, tickets or however you want to do it and say I only got three left or, or it's only three more people that can enter the drawing and that's it. Um and they're giving it away like two days before Black Friday, so you'll have time to use it to shop. Things like that. Like you can you can do your thing with this, but you guys kind of got some ideas on how to do it. But this is pretty basic. Uh, hopefully this video helped you guys. Like I said, I only have uh, the course. The CPA course is going until Thanksgiving, so that's only probably less than a week away. So uh, it, the prices will go back up on the one-on-one -on -one coaching and all of the courses. And I will be adding more stuff. Uh, to these courses and everything uh, very shortly so all the people who have gotten in great all the people who are wanting to get in uh, now's the time because next week the prices go back up after thanksgiving and we're getting all we're getting back to the money guys all right so other than that uh, like i said all my information is below if you guys need help with anything but go out use this idea and make some money with it guys and let me know how it works uh, and i will see you guys in another video peace